So, I was down the shore recently with friends of mine, uh, two guys, one of which is sitting right there on his phone, not paying attention to his friends in the story. And we were discussing our biggest fears, and he's very sweet, this guy, you should all buy him a drink later. And he's like, my biggest fear is that my parents will one day lose their mind and not recognize their own son. Yeah. And he's like, what's your biggest fear? I'm like, spiders. <laughs> I hate spiders. It's not even funny. There's a story. It was in the news. I swear to God, you can look it up. A town in India, a village or whatever, it's not important. What is important is what happened. They were having a party one night, and the town, this village in India, was swarmed by spiders. Overrun by spiders. I'm not, I'm not making this up. They're in the village. There's a village here. There's this open space, and there's like a forest or a jungle. I'm not familiar with India. And something spooked the spiders. What the fuck could spook a spider where it's like, ew, I'm out. And the spiders ran from the forest and swarmed the town. And these aren't little spiders. This was an aggressive new species of tarantula. Where when it got close to you, it would jump at you and latch onto you. Yeah. So I'm picturing myself in that town, right? I see these spiders, hundreds of them, swarming the town. There's a loaded gun next to me. I take that gun, I shoot myself in the head. Because I don't want to live in a world where that's possible. You don't say, like, hey, Bill, remember last week when we got overrun by spiders? That was crazy, right? Like, no, you get the hell, they have planes now, you can leave. Get out! What do you guys thought? Do you like spiders? Hey, I don't care what you think about spiders. You should not have an opinion on spiders. It's like, hey, what do you think about terrorism? Are you for or against it? No. Everyone hates spiders. It's like, oh, I hate terrorism. And I love to laugh. Um, I'm, into, I'm into peace. Like, no. Everybody hates spiders. I'm afraid of a lot of things. I'm afraid of you all. I'm afraid of, I'm afraid of this. I'm afraid of inside. I'm afraid of outside. Recently, I've become afraid of elevators. Specifically elevators. And I told my friend I convinced this to him, or I confessed it to him. And I'm like, man, I just recently, I don't know what it is, I started you know, getting afraid of elevators. He's like, ah, oh, that's cool, don't worry about it. You're more likely to die on the stairs anyway. <laughs> it's like, why do we mitigate fears by giving me a whole new set of fears? Am I going to like repel into work each morning? It's like, oh, you're afraid of flying? Don't worry, you're actually statistically more likely to die on the way to the airport. So, unless you live at the airport, you're okay. So I went home one night and I did some research. Like a lot of people go home, they hug their loved ones or they exercise. I go home and type in the Google search, like chances of dying on an elevator, the mortality rate. And I found all these great stories. I found this one story of this woman named Betty Lou Oliver. In 1945, there was this plane flying in New York, right? And it was really foggy and they tried to land at LaGuardia. And they're like, no, they called him off. He tried to land anyway. And that worked out well when he smacked into the Empire State Building. So Betty Lou Oliver worked on the 75th floor, and she wasn't in the elevator at the time. She was working on the floor. So the engine from the plane went through the building into the other side, crashed into another condo. But Betty Lou was hurt with some of the jet fuel. So the emergency responders came in, and they were trying to tend to her, and they put her on the elevator to get her down to the street. What they didn't know is that the engine had damaged the elevator cords, so they put her in the elevator, and the elevator plunges 75 stories down, and she survives. So that was nice. I'm like, I, could, I just won't go to New York, and I'll be fine, but if I do, I'll be like... So anyway, I um, have not had the best reputation with elevators in my apartment building. Uh, there's this girl, and this is a true story. There, uh, she's really hot, and we all know she's really hot, and she knows she's really hot, obviously. Um, and we all know that you know, she lives in our building. So she comes in one day, and I'm already in the elevator, I'm holding the door like a gentleman. You know, she has groceries in her hands. So she gets into the elevator, and I'm like, no, it's okay. I got you. And I hit two, because I know she lives on the second floor. I've seen her stop there before. And the creepiness didn't really hit me until I reached my own apartment. When I was like, I, I was like, all right, translate. Uh, no, it's okay. Don't scream. <laughs> Don't panic. And then, I got you. I've captured you. <laughs> so, I was recently going to work, and I was walking down my, uh, my floor, and I stopped, and I was walking by this other guy's apartment door, and he happened to open it the exact time I was walking past. And I'm kind of like standing there, and for all he knows, I was just waiting out there for him. And I'm like, hey, that's, uh, I'm trying to get a look inside. I'm like, you have more space than I do. So I get in the elevator, and it's usually just me. It's a four-story building. I'm on the third floor. Usually just me going down. And I get on today on the third floor, I'm just the only one in there. And uh, we stop on the second floor and three girls come on. They're all in their 20s, attractive, um, not looking at me. 
And I'm there trying to be cool, like, hey, how's it going? I'm not saying this, I'm thinking this. And the floor, we're on the second floor, it starts for a second, then it jolts and stops, right? And we're stuck. So now I'm, I'm afraid of everything, but like I'm an optimistic pessimist, so I know the elevator's going to drop and plummet, but it's only two floors, so we'll probably survive. So it starts literally like four seconds later, right? It just starts moving again. And I, the first thing I say, I look at these girls, and I'm like, thank God, I was just deciding which one of you I was going to eat first. And they're just kind of like moving to the corner. I'm like, no, no, because we'd be stuck in here, and we'd eventually get hungry, and I'd eat one of you. That's not stuff you say to people trapped in a box suspended in the air. And we reach the ground floor and they're they're running pretty briskly out of the elevator. And I scream after them, I wasn't actually gonna eat any of uh, Jesus. You're statistically gonna survive a crash in the well, no. And there was you know, to this day I uh, take the stairs and I'm probably gonna run into them because they are probably very afraid of elevators now themselves. <laughs> Thank you.